What's up, my flume of goodies, my game maker experts here. It's Real Touch GML, and today we are going to go with another tutorial. And this was actually requested. Um, and this is how to make a flashlight. I went ahead and just made something uh, beforehand. Um, and yeah, it's I just added these these brown blocks here, whatever crates or whatever you want to call them, uh, just to show that this does work. Um, and then we got a little player at the end there. Uh, but obviously, this flashlight I made in um, in Game Maker, so it's very bumpy and it doesn't look like a flashlight. Obviously, you can do something better. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if we went ahead and took out the flashlight here, um, obviously you would just see a, an open world here where you can see everything. Uh, so what I've done is I went ahead and created a flashlight, or flashlight, like a beam of light sort of, uh, going in the right direction. This is important for um, transforming the, uh, the image here. Uh, and you're going to want to set the origin to the point at which you know it, it starts to emit the light uh, of a normal flashlight. I also made a player here. Again, facing right for the transforming to work. Um, and then we got our little box here. Uh, so in the player, it's very simple, just simple movement code and having them um, point to the mouse. And I believe this does not work for light, I think just pro. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and create our OBJ light here. So OBJ light. Uh, right off the bat, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the depth to negative 1. And what this does is it sets every... This is going to be on top of everything. Unless you set something to a lower negative or a higher negative, um, it, it'll it be on top of everything, which is what you want. If you put something, uh, say this is negative 1, and you had like a zombie or something that in your game that's negative 2, you would actually, the flashlight would not affect it. You would be able to see that zombie no matter where it is on the map. So maybe that could be useful for you in the future. But um, uh, yeah, just set that to the to the maximum. You can go ahead and just do like that much just to, um, you know, make sure you don't do that to yourself. Uh, so in the create event, what we're going to be doing in what the comps, whoa. Okay, did it just freeze? All right, Game Maker decided to freeze up on me there. But uh, uh, basically, the concept of what we're doing here is we are going to set everything in our world black, the color black, except for our flashlight um, that we are going to make transparent. And we're going to be having to use um, uh, what do you call them? Surfaces, and uh, there was a better word for it, but yeah, surfaces. So. I'm going to create a new variable called surf, Sam for surface, um, and it's going to equal surface create. And this is going to be the dimensions of our room. So 640 by 480. You may have a bigger room, but yeah. We're also going to say surface. We have to set a target to it. So surface set target and surf. Okay. <clears throat> now that we're going, we're just going to draw clear. Uh, to see black because again we want to draw everything to black and then surface reset target there it is right there okay uh, so after you've done that we basically initialized our surface uh, we're gonna want to go into the step and end step and in our end step we're going to set the target again so surface set target Surf. Um, no, we don't want that. And then we're going to go ahead and draw clear again. So draw clear, C black. And we're going to set a blend mode. Okay, so we're going to say draw set blend mode BM subtract. This is going to be a subtractive method. So basically, it's taking what we're going to put in here next, and it's going to subtract from from that with a blend. It's uh, okay. Here, I'll, I'll show you. So we're going to do draw sprite ext, 
Um, and I'm going to say SBR light because that is our flashlight. Uh, zero, and this is the sub image, of course. Uh, and we're going to say X for, for the X, X minus view underscore X view. And then Y minus view underscore Y view. Um, then for the scale, the X scale and the Y scale, there we go. And then for the rotation, just say point, di point direction, <coughs> X, Y, mouse underscore X, and mouse underscore Y. And then we need C white. And the alpha is one. Okay. So after all of that, what you're going to say is surface reset target. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to draw the blend mode back to normal because we don't want it to be in that subtractive method uh, the entire, you know, we, we don't want that. We don't want it to be in a subtractive method. We, we have to bring it back to normal. Um, so the last thing we have to do is go ahead and go to draw and we just draw this out we draw our surface so draw surface view underscore X view uh, view underscore Y view and our surface obviously would be our variable surf so if we put this in the room now and we went ahead and made the game here oh and Okay. Uh, okay. Forgot one thing here. Um, in the step event, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say x equals obj player dot x and y equals obj player dot y. And as you can see now, it follows, and you've got a nice flashlight here. So that it's pretty basic. Um, obviously, you're you're gonna want to maybe fade, make make a much better beam than I did, because that's just embarrassing. But uh, yeah, go and leave like, go and subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I know I didn't really explain it all too well, so let me know if you have any questions, and I can get to you um, from there. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.